Click. Welcome to Diddy Kong Racing. Long-awaited stream. I only kind of grew up with this game. I grew up with the DS version of the game, and you you might be shocked to learn that it's a very, very different version of the game. Uh, I'll go into more details of it when we get into, like, the actual modes and shit, but, uh... Most of the challenges sort of got written over by other things, so... I'm curious to see how much harder these challenges are. Look at all these cute characters. Uh, the DS version also didn't have uh, Conker and Banjo in it. They were replaced with, I want to say, uh, Dixie and... Aniko? I don't remember. I, I skimmed the Mario Wiki page trying to get the various differences between the versions. This is a classic, though. Uh... Collectathon racer in a way that I don't think anybody has done before or since. Maybe like Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts counts. I don't really know. I haven't seen much of that game. Carts and planes and hovercrafts. The original Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed. And of course, Diddy Kong himself. Let's get to it! So I did a little research on which character I wanted to play as. I wanted to play as somebody who's like average stats, but not Diddy. So I did my looking into it, and I decided we're gonna play as Timber. Timber the Tiger. Which is great, because tigers are one of my very favorite animals. And not just for the cat girl angle. Let's make a new file. S K Y. I love how my name just fits in the three three letter initials. I want to say Timber is the owner of this island where all this trouble is happening. So it's even more fitting. We really need a spiritual successor to this game. Agree. God, Nintendo 64 PS1 aesthetic is just so peak. I love low poly. Frog spotted. First sky some frog in the wild. Hello Taj, Taj will be our guide through our adventure. Thank you, Taj. Alright, let's go on into our first race. So, all of the tracks are the same as in the DS version. Uh, the difference is in how they are played for the most part. The uh, first thing you gotta do in each world is just play the tracks normally. That's the same as in the DS version. So all this is gonna be, you know, stuff that I have done before. What's the difference between this and Mario Kart anyways? Not a whole lot. Uh, why don't we go over the differences while we're racing? If there is a start boost, I don't know what it is. Uh, you pick up bananas, they let you go faster. That's like modern Mario Karts. Uh, the balloons give you items, but each color of balloon always gives you the same item. So blue ones will always give you a speed boost item. You can drift, but I don't think there's a mini turbo. Uh, collecting the same color of balloon will upgrade the item that you have, so I have a second tier, uh, speed boost that I can use at any time. And we're gonna use it on that shortcut we just passed up. The red ones up here give you missiles that you can fire at, uh, at your opponents, but I'm in first place, so I can't exactly fire at them anyway. I have been told that letting off the accelerator gives you a bigger speed boost when you use, when you go over, like, the zip panels and use the items, so... It's an interesting, uh, mechanic. We'll see if I can get the hang of it over the course of the adventure. But other than that, it's pretty standard three-lap Mario Kart racing. If I can actually aim at the items, we might be able to pick some of them up, but it's not like it matters a whole lot. I am way ahead of all of our opponents. Is it Donkey Kong Barrel Blast kind of like this game's sequel? I feel- I think the, uh, progression in that game is very different. 
Hi, Taj! Come give us our first, our second collectible, because we picked one up in the hub. Thank you, Taj. Our goal is not just to collect golden balloons, but, like, amulet pieces and trophies and all this other stuff. So, we've, we've got lots of collectibles to pick up. This is a very rare, rare game. Next one's over here, Fossil Canyon. It's just Rare's take on a Mario Kart, and it's really solid. Hey, I found the start boost timing. Convenient. So let's see, these green ones give you oil slicks, which is great for first place because they drop behind you like uh, banana peels in Mario Kart. That looks like a good shortcut if I was, wasn't scared of driving off into the off-road. I haven't seen these tracks in ages. Like, I did grow up with uh, Diddy Kong Racing on DS, and they are the same tracks. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing on DS also had, like, a handful of extra tracks that I aren't in this game. Uh, some Donkey Kong-themed ones. But you don't play them in the adventure mode, and I'm not sure I ever got to play them uh, myself in the DS version other than, like, maybe once. I'd say this game almost has a, uh, a Sonic R feel to it. With the collectible thing and the fact that there's, uh, you revisit and revisit tracks for various purposes to collect various things to, uh, you know, complete the unlockables and complete the adventure. Sonic R has less of an adventure, but, uh, you can replay those track, you can replay those five tracks as much as you want in, like, various of modes. Let's see if we can take the shortcut. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Not super smooth, but for my first time it wasn't so bad. Besides just uh, playing the DS version myself, I have seen this game, like, several times. I've seen people stream it over the years. Uh, I think the last person I saw play it was uh, Vinny Vinesauce. Running into all these trees. Hello, bot. Welcome to the stream. I do not want your promotion. Thank you, Apex. Fun fact, this game has co-op built in. It is slow. There are emulator patches to make it work better. I've been considering playing it with Percy for a while, but we just didn't have time for a long while. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think I saw something about that when I was doing research on this. Jungle Falls. I can imagine it being slow. The game's already pretty framey as it is, but that's rare, rare in the 64 days. That's That just comes with the territory. I noticed you need five balloons to get in the uh, the next door. I wonder where we, we will get another balloon. What are the yellow balloons? I think those are shields? Yes, they are. Not quite invincibility, but close. You want to upgrade it as much as possible so that it lasts longer. These missiles are not useful to me because I am in first place. Well, that worked out surprisingly well. Not at all. Please help me, God. No, no, no! Wrong way! First time we'll be hearing that. I'm sure it will happen a lot. I'm gonna need some missiles, I think. Missed it. Damn. I can hit this one. That'll help a bit. Hey, that hit you, but it, like, barely did anything. Ow. Nope, I'm gonna have to redo this one. Christ. Christ! Fourth place. Oh, we, we are starting strong. I love running right off into the water. Try again, please. 
Honestly, shocked there hasn't been a super successful indie successor to Diddy Kong Racing with just a bunch of furry OCs. I'm sure several of them exist, but uh, it's hard to market yourself as an indie. There are so goddamn many. I want to say there was a super indie card at some point, and Freedom Planet got involved, but I don't know the uh, the extent of it or whether it has any Diddy Kong Racing DNA in it. Need more bananas, please. There we go. That's what I wanted in the first place. Uh, powering up the red balloons all, th all the way gives you fucking ten missiles. You just spam them. And somehow I got hit instead. Great. Grabbing a different color balloon resets everything you have, so there go all my missiles. That's okay. I'll make it work. Nailed it! Going for that speed booster seems to be fucking me over more often than I want it to. Here we go, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Grab one of these just to be safe, but I don't think we'll need it. Much better! Smooth. Just got reminded there was some incident in my hometown lately where some cars were trying to drive over each other on a highway. It was all captured on video. Christ! Mario Kart in real life. That makes four. Now how do we get into the... Hot Top Volcano over here? The answer is... we don't. It's a very strong fanfare. We can't do this yet, I believe this is the, uh, championship. Yep, trophy race, that's the Grand Prix. You end up racing on the same tracks repeatedly quite a lot. I believe we need a key to get in here. Wonder if TT will tell me something. Hey, but, uh, come over, come on. Hey, buddy. Hi there. I'm TT. Can also save your best ghosts. There's also this over here, but I think we need to beat all of the, uh, balloons from this world. Yep. Alright, so what am I missing? We gotta go out and find a balloon somewhere else, probably. Rare collect-a-thon DNA, race with different vehicles instead of different Kongs. If we go and switch vehicles, does it let us go into the race with a different vehicle and race that way? Is that what it wants us to do? Hey, buddy. Hello, friends. Select your vehicle. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. I, I love that voice line. It's very good. Balloons are vehicle dependent. All right. I find it odd, the concept of large, opening large wooden doors while driving. Oh, uh, it looks like I'm a cart when I come in here, so, uh... It's not letting me switch. Something tells me there's a, uh... A balloon out here somewhere. I want to say each of the races has a vehicle that it specifically makes you use, and, uh... The next one we're going to do is, an air is the airplane every time. So, there's a balloon. We can pick that up with the plane. Hello, Select your vehicle. Can I help it's been so long since I played this that I do not remember any part of the progression. I had to look up some of it, and I clearly didn't look up enough. There are just planes in this game. Which I find extremely wild. They're they're a little hard to control. I'm sure I will get used to it, but uh You can even drift in the air. Grab that, now we've got five. 
why don't we go and do our next race? A plane race. Not a very plain race, but a, a very plain race. Let's do it. So when you're doing this uh, in the uh, track select, I think you can pick, like, any vehicle for any course, but I don't know how this one would work with cars, so maybe you can't race this one in a car. Or maybe you can, I can kind of see, uh... You can kind of see pathways that you might be able to take by car, but it'd be a little boring that way. I imagine it'd be fun with the hovercraft, though. Goodness. How to control like that. Let me in! Let me in! God, please! Neat little side area with some bananas. I'll need all the bananas I can get so that I can survive. It is very visually clear about the fact that if you let off the accelerator when you get a boost, it's a much bigger boost. up for an upgrade. Very good. Sneak through the side here and maybe get that banana we missed. Nope, not quite. Handling this much better now. I'll get used to the plane over the course of the adventure, I'm sure. It's just a little funny. Once I get used to it, it won't be funny anymore. Smooth. Blasted all the way to the end. Some courses do not allow certain vehicles. This one just straight up can't be done with a car. Makes sense. Hearing the race start sound will always give me whiplash because I play SRB2 kart. Is that the same one? I didn't realize that was the same one. Alright, so now that we've done all the courses, it's boss time! You're on. What happens if you bump into the dino in this race? Uh, I think he, like, squishes you, like, completely. Alright, so the race course is just a big roll spiral when we get to the top. Don't squish me, don't squish me, please. God, that was close. Boulders! If he gets ahead of me for a little bit, that's fine. Oop, that's gonna cost me the race, I bet. Drifting for too long makes me spin out. That's gonna cost me the race for sure. I know the bosses are some of the hardest parts of this game, and you have to be really consistent at them. So, uh, expect me to have to redo these several times each. Let's see if we can sneak this back to- ooh, ow, ew, not like that. That was rough. What even was that? I'm probably gonna want a red balloon or something, huh? Wait! Nope. There goes that. Wow, it doesn't even say failure or anything. It just kicks me out entirely. Are you a minute behind? Goodness. Uh, sometimes I have a hard time looking at the chat because I'm, you know, playing, but, uh... If you are a full minute behind, you might consider reloading the stream. Bonk. It's not so bad until I get up close to the top. It's 
still spun out, even though I was careful to let go of the uh, drift early. That blue, that blue balloon is not worth it. Christ. I really don't want to fall off. I need to remember to use the fucking brake. Can I get a missile? I would really love a missile. Goodness. Gracious. Holy frick! Yo! Right at the end! Swooshed right in there. Oh shit. Oh shit. I've got something special for you. Try pressing brake when skidding. That I did that, thanks. Okay, so uh here's where the the shit begins. Please god help me. Okay, so uh when I gave the Sonic R comparison, this is what I was thinking of. I have to collect all of the coins and get first place. In the DS version, this, uh, wasn't required at all. This was replaced with something completely different, actually. This was replaced with, like, this automated flyby where you had to, like, touch balloons on the course with the touch screen. It was very strange, but I didn't have to do the silver coin challenges as a result. So I've never done these before is what I'm saying. Even though I grew up with this game in a sense, I've never done the hardest challenges. Like these. And I know these are, uh... infamous. So, here we fucking go. In Sonic R, you have to do a very similar thing where you have to get all five of these Sonic tokens and win in order to, uh... have a match against... Some, one of the, uh, unlockable characters. Go for it! Classic line. What is over there with that ramp, anyway? That one wasn't so bad. I'm sure it will get much, much worse. Alright, one down. It looks like we'll need another extra balloon, or extra couple of balloons, like last time. In order to get into the last race, so uh, we'll have to go out and look again. Anyway, this is what I'm most afraid of. Because I never did these as a kid, and you could unlock them separately? But you were never required to do them. So, uh, I think I unlocked them and said, no, these are too hard, and I just never did them. Oh, shoot. Yep, there's a coin over there. I have to take the shortcut for it. Really wants you to learn the courses quite well, and I, I appreciate that. I can get behind that. I'm I, That doesn't make me any less terrified of it. Sorry. Tell me there is not a coin down there that I have to get on another lap. There sure is. Oh, I grabbed it. Well, forget the other lap thing. Please, God. Okay. So I need to get that one that's on the shortcut now. And I need to do it without failing miserably. I got real lucky the last time. Hello! Nailed it! Now I just gotta win the race. That's not so bad, right? That's not so bad. Watch me swoosh right in. Love Banjo's voice clips. He sounds so dumb, like, oh yeah, whoa! He's so silly. He's he's so scrunkly. This was before he uh, showed up in uh, Banjo-Kazooie, I believe. 
Also, bef definitely before Conker showed up in his game. When Conker was supposed to be a family-friendly game. And then it extremely wasn't. God, I really hope I don't run into my own traps. Watch me swoosh right in. Swoosh! That's two down. Let's see what other suffering I, we're getting ourselves into. Because last time I had trouble racing this course normally. How much worse could it be? How much worse could it be? Come on! one all the way over there. Nailed it. Hitboxes on them are bigger than they look, actually, and also, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell! Christ. Oh, they, they made these real mean. They made these real mean. God help me. What have I got myself into? Ow. Nope, that's not happening. Christ alive. Okay, so this one's gonna suck. That That's what I've learned today. I get the feeling there is no recovering from this. Ow. Go for it indeed. Well, I got fourth again. Smooth. Banjo was in Diddy Kong Racing before Banjo-Kazooie is like the Scott Pilgrim Pac-Man fact of this game. Like the, uh, SMB2 Doki Doki Panic fact of this game. Did you know Pac-Man was originally going to be called Fuck-Man because he fucks? Oh boy. This one's gonna be rough, huh? Seems to randomize your position at the start, which is fine. I'm terrified of that token that's over there that I fell off the water for. That one... that one sucks. Oh, great. I love video games. Do y'all love video games? Shoutouts to video games. Can we get some frogs for video games? Fuck! Can we get some fucks for video games? Oh, the suffering. The suffering is immense. There's gotta be a way to grab that without falling in the water, right? That- that- that much just seems to be clear. Go for it. I'm trying! <laughs> Fuck that one. Holy shit. Fuck that one. Holy goddamn. Okay. Uh, this game's hard. D did anyone know? This game's really hard. Where's the fucking key for this uh, world? Because we need to do the key challenges too, I believe. Uh, in the meantime, why don't we go find uh, a golden balloon somewhere? Hey, buddy, what you need? Car challenge. To test your driving skills, you must race me around the island. Alright, whatever you say. 
as I understand, it's as simple as just head through the tunnel and make a little loop. This is the simplest of the Taj races. I, I am entirely unconcerned with this race. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I see what they mean by uh, skidding and pressing B. You can get a little uh, extra oomph in your turn like that. GG, easy. Hello, friend. Bye bye for now. Tell me it's a balloon. It's a balloon! Where's it going? Hey, hey, come back here. Hey, there we go. Now we can get into the volcano. Just fuck my shit up, fam. Okay, so this one's going to be even harder because it's a plane picking up those stupid fucking coins. So, uh, yay. God save us all. You know, I will say, I remember those, uh, weird DS grab the, uh, touch the balloons with the touchscreen challenges to be surprisingly hard in their own right. But something, something tells me they are still not nearly as challenging as these are going to get. This isn't so bad so far. Famous last words. There's one. Ow. I'm doing it. I'm 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 planing. I'm planing. Oh, nobody needs- nobody trusts me with a pilot's license, Christ. I've got a good comparison. The plane feels like hydroplaning in real life with a real car. And I- I'm not just saying that to make a stupid pun. It's very touchy. Wrong move will send you careening into a wall. No, no pressure. Actually, that race was really simple. It's just beginning to be plain. I'm glad someone understands. Oh boy, it's time for this again. Only a little terrified of the second boss race in each world. So you saw how lucky I got with the first one. There will be no such luck here. If you can me again, I'll give you a, special prize. a special prize? I want a special prize. Christ alive, here we go. Dinosaur has learned how to start boost. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening. Look at he go. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening. Not this time. We can at least see how much worse it is before we finish this off, though, because there's a whole bunch of extra obstacles, and I would like to know where those are. So that I don't get... Absolutely destroyed. That was not right. Okay. I can barely even stay on the spiral by myself, much less with a, a second person that I'm racing. Person? Dinosaur? Second dinosaur. Dinosaurs are people too, I guess. 
There's a shortcut on this, isn't there? Why does my brain recall such a thing? Isn't it right there? Or, like, that's the other end of it? Is this a Mario 64, uh, Bob on Battlefield situation? <laughs> Alright, staying paced much better this time, but... That's quite a lead you've got there. Yep, saw that coming. That's better. If I am to make it through this magical shortcut that maybe exists, I am definitely going to need a blue balloon. A blue- a balloons. A blue- a blue loons. A banners. Please don't crush me, please don't crush me, please don't crush me! There it is, there it is! Let me in, let me in! Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I needed to save the, the blue loons for later. But it's something I know about now. It's neat, ow. God, God, hello? <laughs> Imagine playing this race with the plane. Oh, you can just fly up there. Easy. Easy peasy. That's almost as much cheating as the, the dinosaur is doing. Get bonked. Wasn't much of a bonk, but it was something. Okay, let's start building up a boost. Don't let me say that ever again. You can go as far ahead as you want, buddy. I'm I'm going to catch up to you in the blink of an instant. That's how the phrase goes, right? Two. The other one's right here. Nailed it. Man. And go. Ah, shit. That almost worked. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Nope. Christ. Timber gives up. Tim Timber just sits there, in front of the tree. Yeah, uh, right now? Can we come back right now, please? Imagine the suffering if Rare made you do the Silver Coin challenges again every time you failed. Okay, so one red balloon. Two red balloons, squish. There's a third one up here somewhere, and then I can just go fucking ham. God damn it. The shortcut is too much of a risk, it seems. It's too hard to get up that stupid hill. So we'll just. That went over your head? The fucking spiralness of the spiral mountain is. not good for shooting missiles that go straight ahead. Okay. I'm learning a lot about this game today. I'm learning that it hates you very much. Why don't we try that again? Christ. Hmm. I think this game is hard. So you know the, the funny thing I listed about the fact that, uh... 
the challenges were completely different in this game compared to the the DS version. And the DS version is the one I grew up with. Instead of doing the uh, silver coin challenges, you'd touch the balloons or whatever the fuck. Uh, these bosses were still exactly the fucking same, which means I have done this before. Believe it or not. I'm going with or not because I'm looking at this and can't believe I did it myself as a kid. That's videos games for you, huh? Not taking that again. I have learned my lesson. Oh god, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close and I'm gonna run right into the back of him and get squished and roll down the slope! Okay, again. Okay. I think Rare hates me specifically. Damn! Yvette says, I had lots of plans for today. None of them were to make Undertale sprites for the talking flowers from Wonder, but I guess my plans changed. Interesting! Fascinating project you've got going on there. I, I love how much of a meme the talking flowers have become. Like, I was expecting them to just be, like, really silly or maybe even a little cringe for as stupid of a word as cringe is. And, uh, just not- not be worthwhile, not be worth having on. But no, they're- they're... respectably silly. Why can't I shoot missiles behind me? God. This isn't really Mario Kart if you can't put items behind you. This is an important part of the Mario Kart, uh, balance. God damn it. Here it comes. Yep, bye. Ow. Alright, here we go again. I didn't get crushed by him that time. I didn't get crushed by him that time. The alternative was arguably worse. The alternative was definitely worse. God, I was right there. Talking flowers are so awfully gay, I love them. That's not the word I would have used, but I see where you're coming from. Maybe next time. Come back whenever you're ready. I suppose they are rather rather gender, aren't they? They're 100% gay, Sky. I, I, I can see where you're coming from when you say that. I can definitely see the angle. I just had never considered it that way before. Let's put it that way. God damn it. Get back here, asshole. I was genuinely expecting to have a harder time with the silver coin challenges than with these because I had technically already done these before. No, I'm, I'm having my shit kicked in. Why did I even try to go for that? And then I missed anyway! Let's go for the Hail Mary. God. Let me up. Nope. 
and somehow got stuck on the same goddamn tree again. How? 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 What do? How do? How do you do the video game? Somehow that didn't hit me. Somehow that didn't hit him. So I think this guy's name is Tricky the the Tricer the Tricky the Triceratops, and uh, I think the one from Dinosaur Planet is also named Tricky or uh, Star Fox Adventures, as most people know it. I wonder if they are related. I mean, obviously, they're both made by Rare, so of course they are related in some form or fashion, but I wonder if they're the same character like Conker and Banjo are the same character. Okay. Okay, okay, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Watch this. Watch me swoosh right in. Boom! Boom, baby! He slows down right at the end. God damn. Now try the trophy challenge. Ha ha ha. That, that one's gonna be way easier. I never did find the key for the uh, the other challenge. That is part one part of the thing that I need in order to see the, all of the game. We will be getting all of it. And I'm only a little terrified. Let's do it. Does anybody know where the key is for Dino Domain? Because I don't know where it is and I'm a little terrified. Let's rock and roll. There's that back there. Oh, look at that. Well, got the key. Don't worry about it. Now, can I, uh, get better than 8th in this race? That's the next question. That's a promising start. Doing a little better. Problem is, we are only making two places at a time, and I need to do a lot faster than that now. But hey, this is a trophy race, and that means it's Mario Kart-style Grand Prix for points, I believe. So I don't have to do perfect at every single course, I just have to do okay. So watch me do okay. video games. Oh, I thought that was gonna be good, too. Damn. Damn! Okay, time to make it up in the rest of the races. Fuck. I have to do real good at all the rest of these if I want a chance. But hey, at least I got the goddamn key. Oop, nope. God damn it. That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Why am I getting the distinct feeling that I should just, like, 
restart this. Restart the trophy race. Oh boy, seventh place. The gaming on display. Well, I tried. It's at least a little better. I'm in sixth now. Once again, this is not making it nearly enough uh, progress to get first like I need to. Off goes the missile. That was my last hope. God, why did I try? Why do I try? Hmm, turns out this game's hard. See, when I was doing the uh, trophy races on the DS version, I can distinctly remember them just feeling like kind of a victory lap, because I had already done the hardest shit. Uh, not so. Fourth again. Don't think there's any coming back for this from this, but it, I I might as well try. We're here. We're here, we're queer, we can make it work. At least I don't have to go for those stupid fucking silver coins in this. Now I feel better about this. This game's music is such a fucking bop. I forgot this game had those arrows on the side that tell you the, the turns that you need to make. Reminds me of the fact that I was playing uh, Sega Rally on uh, Saturn the other day. And I was reminded that that's the game where the, uh, that's the game that embedded into my head. Long easy right! Long easy left, maybe! Medium right! Easy left, easy the right! There we go, much better. I wasn't as far ahead as I hoped I would be. Timber swerving down the freeway. I'm trying, okay? Hearing banjo voice clips throws me off so hard. I land right here like, whoa, and then do a double take. Like, huh, banjo, where? Need to find a honey thing. What the fuck? It is very possible for me to get second place. But probably not first. Not unless, uh, Pipsy over here decides to die completely on this course. I really like this course, actually. I think it's absolutely fantastic for a course where you fly a fucking plane. I'm also bad at it. Please, God. Well, there go my second place dreams. Man, I set my goals realistically and everything, and I can't even meet them. God! This thing's fucking touchy! I'm feathering the control stick and shit like that is happening. Oh, 
and I'm still forgetting to let off the accelerator when I get my boosts. Yep, fourth is the best we're getting here. It's probably gonna be a solid third, maybe. Christ. Once again, I ask, who gave this tiger a fucking pilot's license? Final standings are... Final standings are shit! I got third place. That's enough for a trophy. To my understanding, you do not need... all gold trophies, but... It'd be nice to have. We've got the key, that's the important thing. So we'll go and do the, uh... We'll go and do that, and then we'll go back and get a gold in the trophy race, hopefully. For now, let's go over here to the other thing that was completely different in the DS version. The battle stages! They're the batter, battle challenges. First player to hatch three eggs wins, huh? How does that work? I don't know, because I never played this. These were in the, uh... These were in the original as bonus challenges, but... Where the fuck am I going? That's me. There I am. These were in the original as bonus challenges, but for, uh... For the purposes of story mode, they were completely replaced with something completely different again. They were replaced with the... Uh... God damn it. Do I need to, like, sit down on the red panel? Come in for a landing. Z button, that's what it, that's what it is. Okay. Let's go steal yours. Not if you steal it first, apparently. Uh, these were replaced with TT challenges where you had to, like, design a course with a little weird-ass level editor, and then, uh... You would race TT on that course, and it was a really, like, basic-ass, bare-bones level editor, where, like, you could draw it out on the touchscreen, and then it would automatically populate it with items and, uh... Like, hills. Like, it would just go up and down in elevation at random spots. You couldn't change any of that yourself. So it was really strange. And, uh... I certainly feel more like, uh... These are more catered to the actual game and more fun, even, I would say. God. I'm trying my goddamn best here. Nope, that's terrifying. Uh, that's the one I was just at, which means we need to drift hardcore to pick up another one of these. Swoos? Swoos right in? Nope, those have hatched. Are there more here in the middle now? I didn't see any. Nope. Christ. Nope, I haven't figured out how that one works yet, but, uh, the- the TT challenges were real basic, and they just completely replaced the battle- these battle challenges. And so I've never done these either. So I've always been real curious about these, and whether I'd be any good at them, and apparently the answer is no. As long as they're flashing, they're incubating, and I can steal them. That seems to be the trick. Got one hatched. Well, I tried. I wonder if there's more in the middle now. There was one in the middle. Steal this one real quick. 
Nope. Tried. That one hatched. So we need to go back to the middle. Never mind. I've got two hatched. Which means we're damn close. Just need to pick up somebody else's egg and drop it in. And then we're, we're rolling, right? We can even sit here and watch it hatch. Boom! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Why does Timber's little icon look like the Roblox winning smile face? God, Roblox is a game I need to learn more about. You won first prize. Thank you very much. What is it? It's a piece of the TT amulet, which we will also need. So in addition to doing the silver coin challenges and finding those keys that get you here and doing the bosses and the trophy races and all that, like, the DS version had, like, half of that completely changed. The basic races were still there, and then the silver coin challenges were completely replaced, and the battles were completely replaced. So, like, I've only really done half of this game. So I'm excited to see how much the rest of the, uh, the rest of the cups kick my ass. Is being suggested that I play some Roblox videos games. Uh, that is for another day, of course, but I, I wouldn't be opposed. I remember, uh, Apex got, uh convinced, quote-unquote, to play some Roblox, and I don't know how that went, but it's a stream I have always wanted to sit down and watch. Don't be like me with the hell Roblox experience, says Apex in the chat, probably before I even said out loud the thing, so, uh, yeah. That, that sounds great. It'd probably be good to have somebody who enjoys the game and doesn't just want to play cursed Roblox experiences. Did I just call them experiences like a fucking content creator? There we go. A much better first race. Christ. Tetris Grandmaster stream win. Not out of the question. I have several Tetrises that I would love to get to. Uh, Magical Tetris Challenge is going to be sometime within the next couple of weeks. But uh, maybe I could slam the other ones in there. You called them experiences. You're a content creator now, Sky. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Heard crazy things about that Mickey Mouse one. That's the one, yep. That's I picked up a card of that the uh picked up a card of that last month sometime, and I've been fucking itching to stream it. Tetris for fucking sickos. I got to play a little bit of it just to make sure the cart works, and oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I I can't wait. That's on the docket for probably next stream or uh no, uh, next stream is probably gonna be Friday with Frosty Fest, so probably... Soon. Soon. That's all I got. Since I got next week off, it's gonna be very soon. God damn it, I meant to take the shortcut. That was dumb. I, I should just not take the shortcut here, apparently. I only fell behind two places, though. We can salvage this. Man, letting off of the accelerator when you hit a hit a boost is a significant increase in the boost. It's not just like, oh, it's this little trick. No, it's extremely, extremely useful. There we go. That's a little better. Oh, 
Okay, this this trophy race is going way better. Ping me on Discord when you do stream it. Oh, I will. You bet. Click onto the Roblox VOD that Apex did, and the first thing I see is Apex about to play something called Divorce Simulator. <laughs> Alive. Yeah, if you have a curated experience of good Roblox games, I would play those. But if you're gonna make me play something called uh, Divorce Simulator, I might sit out. I don't mind a, a cursed thing in with uh, a list of other things, but uh, that sounds like hell. That that genuinely sounds like hell. Yeah, doing much better at this this time. Oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. Don't don't speak words. Do not speak. It's not smart. Why why did I go over my own oil slick? Smart person. Extremely good at video games person. I don't need a homing missile here. Because I am in very first place. Way longer shield. Lasts until the end. Very good. Regret Evader. See, that to me, that name reads in the same way as something like Divorce Simulator. I don't know why. I'm sure it's great. Also, Robot 64. There's also Microwave Dinner. What the fuck are you people doing? I know the word obby. Does that make me cool? It's actually a really good game. It's not fucking divorced. <laughs> I'm sure it isn't or you wouldn't be, uh... You wouldn't be, uh, recommending it. So I believe you and I'd be interested to try something like that. But, uh... Another day. We'll, we'll organize something for one of these days. You, I don't know if you've noticed, I have enough streams on the docket as it is. But I'd be very, very curious to try that. If I do try Roblox, it would be a stream. Just, just to be 100% clear. Take my rightful place in first. Finish this trophy race strong. That way we come out of it with a gold, even though we probably don't need it. Last I checked, you really only need... God. Bronze. God. God. Let me shut my fucking mouth so I can actually win this. Okay, we're in the clear. God! This is the first world! How much worse can it get? There are furries and Undertale references. Oh, so it is, so it is actually good then. Got it. One golden trophy with Whizpig on it. The other game I really like is Nico's Next Bots... Nico's Next Bots... Bro? Scene is a pretty ironic game, but it's pretty good and has a lot of effort put into it. Got a lot of fun mechanics. That sounds like fun. Nico as in, uh, N Nico one-shot? Or just, uh, just a Nico? Microwave Dinners a Roblox game where you play as Microwave Bot on a mission to collect Microwave Dinners to power Fridge Bot. Oh, it's time for another, uh, Tosh challenge. Let's do it. No, just a Nico. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Nope, that's the wrong way. We go into the waterfall. Of course. Of course. Should have known. Oh, you do hop in the hovercraft. Okay. 
My lord. I, I need to learn the fucking course before I can even do this. Sims? This is a much longer one than the cart one. The cart one was stupid easy. Also, is it just me or is the game more framey than usual? Lots of Roblox games being shared in chat. I'm glad people love it. I just, I never had the experience with playing it, so. I, I would love the opportunity to play some actually good stuff in it. Contrary to Apex's experience. I'm very sorry, Apex. That's ridiculous. Divorce simulator. What the fuck? Am I gonna catch up to him? I thought this was probably not happening, but it's we're getting damn close here. Hello? Just gotta make it up the slope without, like, losing all of my fucking speed. Like that? Like that? Like that? Oh, he lost all of his speed too, shit. Do I have this? Do I have this? Fuck, okay. Hello, friend. Bye -bye for now. Strange. One balloon. Can I get- can I- can I have the balloon? Can I balloon the balloon? The balloon? There's the balloon? Boon. Got the boon. Alright. Uh, why don't we go out to where he showed us to go then? Because we can roll through here. And out here is our next world. Looks like I need the plane to get in there though. So why don't we go get the plane? Please and thank you. Hello? Hello? Y yes, I'm trying. I am talking to you now. Oh, right. You have to go here. I think. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. I, I would like to change my vehicle. Bonk. I, I thought I ran into him before. Okay. Doors is a good game, but it's also kind of spooky, so I don't know. I'm not- I'm not big on the spooky shit. Uh, FNAF is not my style, but... This door only requires two balloons. Which means, uh... We can go to all of these now. Very good. Let's do them in order, then. I think this is in order, anyway. Press day too early. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, etc. I actually did want to stream this closer to, uh, closer to the holidays for exactly this reason, but I was in the middle of other things and I didn't have time. I played Kirby instead. This is probably of interest to absolutely fucking nobody, but, uh, for some reason the Kirby VODs are extremely, extremely popular compared to all of my other VODs. I guess people are looking for Kirby games when they're- Kirby videos of Kirby games because they're good. Kirby is a good series and watching people react to it is funny or something. But, uh, for some reason the last couple parts of, uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land have, like, a thousand views each. When most of my VODs get, like, two dozen views total. So, I don't know what's happening there, but I, I won't complain. I'm just glad people enjoy it. Question mark. And I mean, I've spent a, enough time looking at YouTube analytics to know when something is, uh actually good engagement versus just people are clicking into it and then immediately clicking away. No, uh, 
the vast majority of these views are coming from the YouTube homepage, and people are actually clicking into it and watching it for a significant amount of time. It's kind of strange. This track very much feels like it was designed for cart first and then, oh, did, let's just play it on the plane now. That's okay, though. It's a good plane course. It's very hilly. It'd probably be uh, a little whack doing it in a car. Mentioned FNAF, my friend kept begging me to play it not long ago. I tried it once and never went back again. I swear it's only fun if you're playing t together, but not alone. Not for me. Yeah, I mean, it hits with diff different games hit with different people, and FNAF especially is a very, like... I hear it's a, the originals especially are very arcadey in a way that doesn't hit with a lot of people, but... When most people get into FNAF, it's more of the lore rather than the playing the games, you know? Or at least that's what I hear. Walrus Cove next. The snow levels in this game do absolutely rule Apex. By lighting in snow. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the one that has the loop. Where's the one that has the loop? There it is! This game had anti-gravity long before Mario Kart 8. Then again, Mario Kart also had anti-gravity long before Mario Kart 8 with DS. But still, they did that on the fucking N64. Love it! Yeah, I remember this one being a really good course even outside of the loop, so... Good stuff. The boing? Okay. Don't use boosts there, got it. Right, the magnet power. I think I've used it never this entire playthrough, so hooray. They put exclamation marks instead of which turn you're going because they, they don't know what to call that. The loop. I wonder where the key is in this world. Make that turn real tight if you get up there, huh? Boing! Ridiculous. Why does the water here boing you anyway? It's very strange. Don't think that oil slick is gonna hit fucking anyone placed where it is. So that's exciting. I love how the game can just barely keep up with you being in the loop. It's ridiculous. They really push this goddamn engine's limits, and I, I love it for that, honestly. Oops. I'm used to drifting in Mario Kart where you don't spin out for going the... the, uh... for taking long turns like that. I don't need to do this at all, but here I am anyway. Magnet doesn't even do anything because there's nobody ahead of me. Smooth. Smooth! Actually, did Sonic Art have loops? It did! Good point! And it had that on the Saturn. Calling in Arcadia, I never thought of it that way before going in. Yeah. Yeah, that's valid. I think the later ones get less arcadey as you go, but I am also not up on it, so I, I wouldn't know. Why do I get the feeling we're going to need to take both routes here? Boing! Why is the water here boing you? Still looking for that fucking key.
Those shields are very useful there. If the key is here, I don't know where. If the key is in any of the courses I've been in already, I don't know where, so that's exciting. Christ alive! Hey, look at that! Smooth. You just you should play Open Fortress. Good game. I don't know if I've asked before, but it's a cool ass game. I only played TF2 for the first time like recently, so Open Fortress would be a thing that like I don't know how much TF2 I need going in in order to appreciate it, but I might have to do a little bit more of it. If Open Fortress is just accessible as is, then sure, I'll take a look at it, but... I, I am not an FPS, FPS person. In a general sense. Is it time for the Holiday Village? It's time for the Holiday Village! This one's really cute. I've always been fond of this course. I want to say the key is here, but I don't know where. I'm worried it's like behind one of those trees or some shit. Because I saw a shortcut right there where there's a balloon coming out of it. There's a balloon in that waterfall. There's a banana. Found a banana. I I'm trying to break. I'm trying to break and go in reverse. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, this this isn't happening. Let's try that again. Don't think Sky would enjoy Open Fortress. It's Quake Deathmatch with TF2 aesthetic and some rebalancing. Yeah, I've I've never had experience with something like that, so I'd be. I'd be interested in trying with something that is more accessible for newcomers, and I I have no idea whether Open Fortress qualifies for that or not. I really need some, uh... Some bonanzas. Yeah, there's shit going on back here all over the place. There's boosters and, uh, balloons. And of course there's this. Which does not have the key on it. I don't know why, but I am significantly under the impression that this is the course that has the key. So I'm gonna guess it's out in the forest somewhere, and I'm just gonna have to go uh, exploring. Shortcut is probably for the hover boat. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. I can't imagine you can take that shortcut very well, even with, uh, even with a triple boost. Let's check out here on the right. There's boosters. This is a good shortcut, but, uh, I am not finding what I am looking for out here. I was not close enough to anybody for the magnetism. Very good. Use of items. I I'm very good at the video game. Bye, Banjo. Fuck you in particular. I like how the missiles only auto-aim a little bit. So it's out here. 
Am I intentionally sabotaging this race? No. But I do need to know if the key is out here somewhere and I'm not finding it. Alright, let's... Let's run this back. Close. Damn. I guess not really that close. Yeah, let's... We need to get first. So, that's enough looking for the key. Let's do this legit. Probably find the key during a trophy race again, just because... That's the luck I'm having. I don't know why I'm still convinced that the key is, uh, on this course specifically. It's not even necessarily here. Tried to hit the zip. I'm just really good at definitely avoiding them all. Somehow narrowly avoided that! And nailed ya! Perfect! Now we're in business. Bonk. Alright. I think I got this one in the bag. I'm really enjoying playing this. I I knew I was looking forward to it for a reason, and I, I'm i in love with this game for as funny and crusty and framey as it is. And as challenging as it is, Christ. The game really wants you to learn the courses top to bottom. Which is something I can appreciate. Something about the Mario Kart DLC, you, you all know I love the Mario Kart DLC, and that was my quote-unquote favorite game of last year, but uh, something I'm a little disappointed about is the fact that uh, the amount of time that we spent really loving them was just the first pass. It's like we would play the first pass, and then we'd get, we'd be like, oh, okay, those no courses were neat, and then we'd just bounce around whatever courses we really liked. But uh, getting to stop and smell the roses on each course and really learn what makes them tick is something that I feel like more racing games should lean into, and this game is really good at doing that. Do you want a hint on where it is? I can definitely use a hint, yes. If you could tell me, like, which track it's on, especially. So I believe this guy cannot run me over, but he can just bounce me around, so, uh, I'd be concerned about that. I don't know why, but of all the bosses in the game, I have the most memories of this one in particular from when I was playing it on DS. Which has me only a little worried. Only a little. I thought I was going to be able to go off-road into the snow there, but nope. Man, the the, uh, the hovercraft is like an in-drifting bike in Mario Kart. It just drifts completely differently than you would expect. I 
Yeah, that wasn't bad. Certainly a lot easier than the first boss. Snowball Valley. Okay, thank you very much. I like the little bit of soup he has. Take your finger off the accelerator just before you hit a zipper. Surprise, surprise. The thing that I've been doing the whole time because somebody else informed me first. It's got a bib. It's adorable. It's that, uh, it's that thing on the, uh... On the suit, the, uh, the funny cuff bow tie combination. I forget what the fuck it's called, but that is a real thing that is really on suits, and he's only wearing that, which I think is really funny. Okay, so it's in Snowball Valley. And that's the third course, so let's, let's, let's get the silver coin challenges over with so that I stop suffering for a bit. It's funny how much I talk about loving this or that game, and also how much that, like, Oh god, I hate that challenge! That part sucks! It's just a natural part of loving a game, I think, is that there's parts that you really lo really love, and it's contrasted with parts that maybe you're uh, not so hot on. Or, you know, maybe you do love the challenge, and you're just being, uh... Hyperbolic, saying, oh, that part sucks, or whatever. But... I think that contrast is an important part of what makes a game tick. Oh, there's a coin on the top and the bottom on that one. Good thing I don't have to get them all in uh, one lap. This is where the game is going to start giving me problems, huh? A little terrified. Christ. Oh, I'm having no luck. God, the echo in here. Wow, that wasn't even close. Nope, that, that's where the coin was. That's not happening. Huh. Okay, so I need to not take the zipper there? Maybe? Okay, there we go. That's the one I missed last time. There are two coins on that side. I went over that one. Christ! Why are these so hard to hit? They are simultaneously bigger than they look, and harder to hit than it, they should be. Which probably means they're perfect. Okay, half of them in one lap. That's alright. Got the one that was giving me the most problems last time. Yo! 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 Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Let's fucking rock. I just really want to get this one this lap so I can focus on racing. So here's hoping. Nailed it. Alright. Go for it indeed, let's do it! That's a treat. That, yes, good start. Good start to the final lap, yep. I like when he says, rawr. Real cool cat behavior. That's a wall, that's a wall, yep. Okay, I'm way ahead in first. I, I didn't think I was this far ahead, so we're, we're golden. 
swoops right in there. Boom. Easy. Spam this frog to be really pog. Hey, Evans, welcome to the stream. It's good to see ya. Oh, and Lexi just completely raided. Holy shit. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for raiding, Lexi. That's so kind of you. I am playing Diddy Kong Racing for the second time ever, and the first time I played it was the DS version, so, uh... Th there's, there's a surprising amount of differences, and I, like, I didn't have to do these Silver Coin challenges at all, so, uh... I am... You know, playing most of the game's challenges for the very first time, and having my butt handed to me. So, please enjoy listening to my screams of terror. No. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm really enjoying myself. I forgot how fucking good this game is. It's very relaxing, especially these snow snow levels, so you are just in time. Look at this fucking loop, too. So, my goal with these silver co coin challenges is to get all the coins and hit get first. Uh, reminds me a lot of Sonic R, which is a game I did 100% as a kid. And these, these coins are in really rough places. Nope, there's not one up there. Nope, but there's that one. That was easy. Why am I going all over the place? Boing! I like how you just bounce off of the water in these courses for some reason. It's very strange. One of the coins is over here because of course it is. So that's over half of them first lap. It's good. Should be good to go here. God, that one over there on the left is really hard to... Oh, I almost had it! I may not have even seen the eighth one. It's probably on this other side up here. Yep, it's by the tree. I'm just past it. You've got to be fucking kidding me, game. This one's mean! But I'm not giving up yet. It's not good. It's not good, but hey, I got the coin anyway. Nope, missed one. God damn it! God, why are all these coins in, like, evil places? Gotta get driving soon, you'll have a good night and a good race. Thanks, Apex! Thanks for swinging by! Hope you have a safe drive! Let's give this another shot. No more or less where most of these coins are this time. Well, I tried. Now I'm in 8th. Which is the perfect place to be. Because now nobody can hit me. Gotta think positive. Gotta think positive. Nope. Didn't hit that one. That's okay. We can get this one over here anyway. Boing. Why do you bounce off the water in this? It's so strange. It doesn't seem like many of the other courses make you bounce off the water like that. I'm still in 8th. It's not even going to be close, I don't think. But I'm at least going to give it a try so I can grab all of the uh, coins in one shot. Just to say that I've done that much, at least. Ooh, hey, yay. Ooh, yay. Man, she grabbed both of those balloons in a row. Okay. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Watch me swoosh right in! Oh, goddammit. <laughs> Why 
All right, now I just gotta get first. That it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It could be done. Maybe. No, nope, it can't. I lose. Good day, sir. Boing, boing. Oh, God. Okay, well, no, that's extremely not happening anymore. Alright. Give that another shot. Good lord. Lexi's on a watch streak. I barely even understand what that means, but I'm so, so glad that y'all stick around for these streams. Especially with the amount of variety that I've been putting into these. Not every game is going to be to everyone's tastes, but I'm glad y'all stick around anyway. Hopefully I can show y'all something cool that you've never seen before. I know fucking everybody and their grandmother has seen Diddy Kong Racing, but you know what I mean. Magical Tetris Challenge will be coming soon, for example. Boing. These are really challenging to get and not drop straight into the water and lose all of your speed. There's a whole Adventure 2, which is a mirror mode with also when you do the Silver Coin challenges, they are in harder places? I feel like these are quite hard enough. Nailed it. That went surprisingly okay. Okay, did I grab this one? Yes, I just need to go on the other path up here. We should be good to go. Nailed it! Now I just gotta win. Now I just gotta win. Now I just gotta win! Ow. That's not helping. Can't you have a little sympathy for me? Woo! Why did I go all the way over there? God! Nope, it's not happening. Ah, oh, that's sad. Boing. Man, and I was doing so good, too. Christ! Silver coins are secret secretly just, uh, chocolate coins. I could go for some chocolate coins right now. Yes, we have frog emotes designed by our very own Not Quite Apex. Uh, that was a commission from him. If you want commissions, you should go to coffee.com slash notquiteapex slash commissions. He's doing all sorts of things like that as of the time of this stream. And I think you should jump on jump on it because his work is excellent. And he is a very good friend. Miss the coin! God! I love to go out of my way for a coin and just completely fucking miss it anyway. Boing! Is anyone else bowling? Gonna be honest, I am doing surprisingly well this time. Let's hope I didn't just jinx it by saying that out loud. Bye bye, buddy! Oh, missed that coin! Right! Okay, so that one coin is the last one I'm going to need to get, because I'm going to grab this one right here now. Smooth! Smooth! Didn't jump into the water! Look at me go! We've got it this time! We've got it this time! Let's rock. Okay, 
Okay, the last coin is upcoming. Nailed it! We're gonna take the safe route here, just to be safe route here, just to be safe. Come on, watch me swoosh right in. Swoosh! Nailed it! Hey, Tess, welcome to the stream. It's good to see ya. Oh my god, that one was rough. Okay, Apex was telling me before he left that Snowball Valley is the one with the key in it. So we gotta pick that up while we're here in addition to the coins. I don't necessarily have to get first with the key, though. I just have to pick it up. Let me guess, the coins are on both routes. Yep, they sure are. That's exciting. Ow. Oh, that looks rough. Oh, well, I'm a little terrified now. Why is that coin all the way over there? God damn you. How did I miss that? Gotta be fucking with me. Oh my god, Rare, why did you do this to everyone? Why did you... How did I miss that? Ow. Where even is the key here? This is a surprisingly straightforward course that I can't imagine where the key might be hidden. I don't think I'm getting first this time, but I can at least figure out where all the coins are on this attempt. At least got all the coins. But that's not first. That's okay. That was pretty smooth. Just gotta do it smoother. Hey, Pretty, welcome to the stream. It's good to see ya. You're just in time to watch me fail at Silver Coin Challenges. Which I've never done before, because they were not required in the DS version. Should probably have gotten that coin on that lap. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm hearing somebody else's shield and throwing me off. Okay, that's half of them. Where even is the key? Yep, there's the coin. Christ. That's gonna be too hard to get to if I take the... ...small route, so I'm gonna take the big route instead. Nailed it. Alright. Took it a little slow so that I could actually grab it, but... Oh, I'm not gonna make it! God! Oh, that was so close! Oh, pain! Pain. No, I think that pain's just my stomach, actually. Try this again. Start boost would probably help. For some reason, I am always worried that they're going to pick up the coins before me, even though that's not how it works. Oh, shit. Nope. 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 Uh-oh, indeed, Timber. Uh-oh, indeed. One of these days, I will get consistent at getting a start boost. There we go. Not my smoothest, but it got me through this. Something tells me I know where the key is now. Oh, 
Right, it's because they can steal the balloons from me. That's why I thought they could steal the coins from me for some reason. Got that one. Got them all. Now I just gotta win. That wasn't so bad, actually. GG easy. First try every time. I mean, first place every time. I mean, what? Update on the Talking Flower Undertale sprite thingy. Finish the main battle sprite. Great job! Why don't we go back in... Will it let me? Hey, that worked. Uh, why don't we go back in and go for the... Hey, it lets you pick! Neat! Uh, why don't we go back in and go for the key? Because I still don't know where it is. But I have a guess. This route has a lot more bananas on it. It's not back there, nope. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be up here. It is exceptionally not up here. What is up here? The suffering. Uh... Well, I, w I was trying to go the right way. What's over here? The key. Wow, that's quite a place for it. It's not even really in a place where you could feasibly win the race when you grab it. I know that's the wrong way, smart guy. So they're all on, on their third lap. Despite the fact that it looks like they're close to me, they're not. But I just need to finish the race because the key does not require you getting a certain place like the uh, several coins do. Blessedly. I'm not even sure you have to finish the race. You might even just have to touch it. But I don't know enough about this game to say one way or the other, so I'd rather play it safe and just finish the race. When you get the key, you can exit the course and it still counts. As a matter of fact, it does! Thank you very much, Prinny. As Apex was saying earlier, bisexual lighting snow. Thank you very much for the hot tip, Prinny. Let's do the last silver coin challenge. Why do I get the feeling this one's going to be extra hard? Probably because this brace has a whole bunch of extra routes on it, and those terrify me. One coin is over there on the left already. Excellent. I knew Rare would put one over here. I just knew. I knew in my heart. How did I pull that one off with such, uh, panic? Okay, that's half of them already. That's not so bad. This does not allay my fears. Oh my god, that one's rough. Yep, one's right over there as well. And then there's one more somewhere that I either missed or didn't see. Which is mildly terrifying because I don't know where it is. Nope, missed that. There are none up there. Got it. 
I'm not gonna get first this time, but I just want to know where all these are to begin with. Nailed it. And the last one is not there. Oh no. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's a little terrifying. Is it on this side? Blessedly no, but also I still don't know where the last one is. Uh-oh. And it's not in here. Wow, the pop-in on that was surprising. Okay, that's terrifying. I can't find one of them. This guy, you missed rare Lexi facecam stream. Yo? Lexi facecam gaming? Lexi face reveal live on stream? Hey, Sirachi, welcome to the stream. It's good to see ya. Maybe the third one is in the middle. And I've just been overcomplicating this. That would be really nice. Nailed it. Yeah, something tells me the last one's just gonna be in, in the middle between the pillars, so why don't we check for that on this? That? Smooth. Only got in the water a little bit. Getting better at this. It's not here. Where the fuck is the last coin? It's all the way over here, oh my god? Okay, well, at least I know where all of them are now. Christ, that's terrifying. Where? what have you done? What have you done? This game is for kids! And adults. It's for everyone. I'm gonna have to check the cart after the stream ends to see whether this was rated E for everyone or KA for kids adults. I don't remember if this was... This was right at the threshold of when they were starting to call it everyone instead, so, uh... I don't remember what this one was rated. I will, but I'm not... Not hopeful. Not this time, anyway. I could probably get the one from the left pillars and the one that's down near the buildings uh, on the same lap. In the same swoofs. Yeah, everybody is far too... Far ahead of me. So, this is not recoverable. Damn! This is a rough one! I played this when I was eight. It was extremely hard then, says Prenny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the trauma. No, I'm trying to think of when I had the DS one. Uh... That probably would have been when I was 12? 11, maybe? Yeah, that wasn't so bad, actually. Just hard to see. One moment, I need to fucking scratch my nose. Christ. Nose, I am gaming. Why are you itchy? Coins is all the way over here. And then one of the coins is all the way over here. Alright. Now we gotta get out of this sticky situation. Seventh ass place. That's the last one. Ah. I'm afraid to take those side shortcuts because I wasn't having great luck with getting ahead of anybody with them. It might not be a whole lot faster to begin with. That's my guess. But it, the... I keep harping on this, but the DS version didn't have these challenges. 
So when I played it, I played these completely different challenges that were uh, a little more manageable. Uh, I don't know why the uh, flying by the course and touching balloons with the touchscreen thing existed, but... I would say overall it was probably easier than trying to do all the fucking coin challenges. And then the design a track for TT thing was just fucking silly and extraordinarily easy. God, can I even beat this course like normally? Oh my god! Hey, did you know if you look over outside of the uh, monitor that things look like 60 frames per second and it looks nice? God, this game is really framey. That's one thing the DS version probably has over this version, is the, uh, the performance. But, uh, I just literally just took a moment to look over at the, at the chat on the other monitor, and I was like, Wow! That looks super smooth and real! I wonder who made this? Who made these graphics? Rare, do you hate little kids? Is this why you made Donkey Kong 64? Is this why you made Battletoads? Is this why you made Conker's Bad Fur Day? Suffering never ceases. Well, I'm up in fourth. It's gonna take a hell of a lot more to actually make it to the end with the uh, first place. I'm not particularly hopeful. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that the uh, DS version also had, like, fourth tier items. Like, you, uh, I bit, I thought you would pick up a fourth balloon to get the fourth tier item, but no, apparently you'd pick up a power token somewhere on the, on the course. And then the next time you grabbed an item, it'd be a super powered tier of some kind. Like, for the boost, you'd just go into, like, bullet bill mode from Mario Kart. And then, uh, for the missiles, you'd get, like, three homing missiles, I want to say? God, fourth place still. That's rough! But every single one of the items had a fourth tier item on it, and they were all broken as fuck. I wouldn't even say they were necessarily worth getting, even, but... Major factor when it comes to this game's rush edges is, is that it was rushed for... Rushed for a Christmas 97 release. That... yeah. Shocking no one in particular. A delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad, said no one ever. And certainly not Miyamoto. Oh my god. How? How? How did that turn me around? Oh my god. Video game. Video game. The video game hates me. Just had to look up Conker's Bad Fur Day because I never heard of because I heard of it but never knew what it was about. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolute fucking nightmare shit post that game is. It, I was drifting right the whole time. I don't know how it suddenly switched me left. This game is uh. A little hostile sometimes. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't get fucking turned around there. Good. Half the coins. It's not terrible so far. Oh, god damn it! Oh, god damn it! Is it bad that I enjoyed Conker's Bad Fur Day? No! Conker's Bad Fur Day is a great game. It's also just a complete and utter fever dream. You have to go into it knowing that, and also you have to go into it knowing that it is not a game for kids. The game does say shit. If you were playing the original N64 version, if you were playing the Xbox version, they fucking censored it. My brain did like five ADHD hops just now. Uh, ran into Tip Top because he fucking shoved me away from the balloon that I wanted. And uh, thought to myself, Tip Top, you are officially the worst racer in the entire game. I hate you and I never want to see you again. And then I'm reminded of the fact that a uh, long time ago as a kid, I played Mario Kart 64 at somebody's house. And uh, I was playing Yoshi and I couldn't beat whatever I was doing. And for some reason, the person's mom or dad or something came in and s I saw me that I was struggling and said, uh, Yoshi sucks. Yoshi's the worst character in the game. You shouldn't be using Yoshi. And that, like, really fucking upset me? To the point that all these years later, I went to look at the, the, uh the stats for Yoshi in Mario Kart 64, and apparently he's got the slightly highest top speed of all the characters in the game, uh, tied with Toad, I believe. And so, uh, suck it, whoever told me that. But that was, like, a weirdly defining moment for me as a kid. I have this, like, really especially vivid memory of it. I did not need to go that way this time. I am finally on the second lap. Oh, shit. Which two am I missing? I'm missing the one on the right pillars. And I'm missing that one. And I got it. Need more bananas, that's for goddamn sure. Something I keep missing is this zipper. Should probably be getting that more often. Nailed it. And first place is in sight. Might have it this time. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! Oh! God damn it. So close, so close! There's a veritable flood of chat messages. That I will have to look at in a moment. I see you all. I want to read all of your messages. I'm a little busy uh, running into walls. So give me a moment. This, is it just me or does this course seem especially framey at times? Rare games back in the 64 days were just like this. They were pushing the hardware to its goddamn limits, and I forgot to get that coin. God damn it. That's one. That's two. Okay, so there's two left, and I know where both of them are. Catching back up is gonna be a kind of a bitch, though.
part of the problem with this is that I haven't been practicing hitting the zippers because I've been practicing hitting the coins instead. God damn it. I have to hit this coin anyway. Got it. Go for it. Will do. Time to suffer. Here we go. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's gonna be fucking close. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, that was close! That was so fucking close, what the hell? Oh! Fucking hell. Oh. Pain. Pain! It's over. It's over. Oh. Okay. Tells you on the box outright that it's not for kids on the Nintendo 64 box. Well, th that doesn't stop parents who either don't look at the box or aren't aware of the... Uh, or have only seen the marketing. Why did Microsoft censor it but not Nintendo? That That's always been the question of eternity is why... Why does Nintendo not censor things more often? Still better than a rando calling you a trash bag for not using Tip Top? Excuse me? That's fucking stupid. I guess the point of all this is that Backseat Gaming has always existed and is not endemic to Twitch, specifically. If there's any character in Mario Kart 64 that'd be the worst, it's the Mario Brothers themselves, but at least unlike Crunch and Diddy Kong Racing, their stats are not detrimental, they're just masters of none. Yeah, that makes sense. And here I am busy reading chat instead of racing this, uh, boss. Let's restart that. Had the loser banned for that. Good shit! Clearly, Sky, you should have had a no backseating sticker on your back in 1999, or whenever that was. Okay, let's focus on the fucking race. Every character that is not Toad or Toadette is the best, in my opinion. Not Toad or Toadette? Fascinating. That sure is going fast. I wonder what it's going to take to catch up to him. I don't even see any items. Or, there's one. Probably be smart to grab one, huh? Probably be smart to grab one, huh? Whee! Now there are snowballs. Oh man, you slow down hard if you, uh... If you turn too hard. Well, there goes that. This one's gonna be rough, huh? Okay, I'm gonna need at least a couple items to make it through that. Damn, I didn't have to be on mobile, I would've clipped that. I feel like this stream has had many, many such clips. This might make good for a uh, good highlights. We'll see. You'll get that odd one or two loser come in and expect you to be a god of gaming and put you down for not meeting their expectations. Yeah, I know, and it's uh, it sucks, but they're the losers. Fuck! I had to stop and scratch my nose. Okay. My allergies are beginning to act up, even though it's uh, dead middle of winter instead of autumn. But we barely had an autumn to begin with, so I think the, the trees are finally reacting to the fact that it's slightly cold out. Get fucked. Oh, well, hi. At least it doesn't run you over like the dinosaur does. That balloon was over there. Okay, that's not gonna help me much. But this will. I need the other one too, and I didn't get it. But I didn't get squished somehow. I didn't get squished somehow? What 
the fuck is happening anymore? Ah, uh, he should have shoved me along. Shit. Come on, buddy. Ah. Uh, no. Let's try it again. I'm doing restart race because uh, it's faster than having to redo, than go through the cutscene that I can't skip. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. The drifting on this thing is so fucking touchy. I haven't gotten the hang of it yet. Nope. Try it again! Wow, I just needed the fucking start boost, apparently. I cannot see with you there, buddy. A, li a rather little or a li rather literal interpretation of eat my dust you got there. Well, that almost hit. Oh god damn it! Uh huh. Snowballs. I have reasons to not like Toad or Toadette because of a thing that happened to me, not elaborating. Yeah, okay. Understood. Did that count as a hit or not? I can't tell. It made a noise, but it didn't look like it slowed him down at all. How the fuck does drifting work in this thing, anyway? Oh, come on! How did that even happen? What if we pick this up and this one, and then... Yo! Yo! It's gonna be close. It's gonna be fucking close. I have backup just in case, but we won't need it! Let's go! GG. The trophy challenge and the extra challenge. We'll do those, and we'll probably call it a stream, because it's getting, uh, getting rather late. Half of the amulet done. Alright. Uh, let's do the extra challenge first. I think that's back here? Yes, it is. Last player remaining will win. It's just a good old fucking balloon battle ass type of thing, except it's banana battle. Damn, that didn't work. This one's built like a double deck from Mario Kart 64, it feels like. I want a balloon. Can I get a balloon? Can I have? Can I, can I has balloons? Can I has cheeseburger? God! Look at me trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I'm so good at- oh? It doesn't let you upgrade to 10, apparently.
Be the last person standing, huh? Apparently I'm going to be the last person standing just for trying to get enough items. I'm just sitting up here and nobody is coming up here for some reason. But grabbing that other balloon didn't do anything for me, so I might as well just stick with this. This is a neat battle stage, and it's certainly a lot more straightforward than the, uh, grab the eggs and bring them to your funny basket. There's just one person left, and he's barely got any health. Where is he? Okay. I don't know why I did that. Really go for a homing missile, I think. And then drop down and see if I can find him. Nope. I think he just went up. Yep, he did. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> we both tried, and we both extremely failed. Okay, how long is it going to take for me to hit him exactly once? Because hitting him makes him drop two bananas. He ran into one of my mines. Very good. Oh, there's a whole fucking lower layer that I didn't go on. Okay. Alright, so that's two pieces of the amulet as well. And now we just need the trophy for this area, and we're gonna call it quits for the day. And that's the Grand Prix, essentially. I will say, for how hard some of this shit is, it's a very satisfying challenge. Uh... Especially once you learn the tracks enough to nail them just perfectly. Let's see how well that helps me here. Again, I always felt like the, uh, the Grand Prix were more of a victory lap than an actual challenge. Especially considering you don't have to do the, the extra challenging challenges. I don't know if it makes these CPUs any harder or anything, but I never felt like it was particularly more challenging than just doing the regular races. Unless you are also trying to get a key at the same time, in which case, what is wrong with you? Points itself. Only in fourth somehow. Hmm. I ought to be in first, which means this is a problem. I have a little bit of homing on them, but apparently not nearly enough for that. Two. Then there's another blue coming right up. Three. Hi, Banjo. God damn it. I don't have enough bananas is what's going on. God! Okay. Fine. Christ! Maybe this isn't as much of a victory lap as I thought it was. Right, you could do those. For some reason. Huh. Double tap R and you can do funny tricks and flips, depending on which direction you're holding the control stick, apparently. Another thing about Icicle Pyramid is that the player dots on the map change to indicate what level the players are on. Oh! No, I didn't notice that at all. Mm. 
That's a neat feature, though. Well, I'm certainly never going to get first place if I can't keep, uh, if I keep not getting the, uh, start boost. Come on, I did a lot, lot worse shit than this. Say that landing in the water just instantly cancels a shield. I don't know why that memory sticks out in my head. Well, there's our proof. Apparently, it also the loop also cancels out your shield instantly. Huh. I was just thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder what happens if you hit somebody on the loop, and the answer is we're not going to let you. Because that's mean. And we at Rareware are not mean. We like to make perfectly normal and balanced challenges for normal human kids who are human. And not crocodiles. Nice try. Okay, I need to take the normal route here just to, uh, be safe, I think. I'm very glad I did. Very glad I did. There we go! First place. These games were for normal kids? No wonder I was so bad <laughs> Good point. Good point. I don't know, I think it says a lot about us abnormal weirdos and, uh, furries and... ...neurodivergence that we can beat this game for normal kids. Maybe we can, uh... ...take over the human government once and for all. I mean, I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm just a cat. Oh, Christ! This is not what I wanted, game. This is not what I wanted. I'm not doing the silver coin challenge, and there is not a coin over there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fourth. Okay, fine. I'll take it. Second place. Oh lord. I'm very behind. Banjo's going to have to get, like, third. And that's assuming I get first. Uh, excuse me. I love when something's to my left, and I press right on the control stick to, uh, sort of lean into it, and it works. These games are fucking weird.
I remember having an especially hard time with the, uh, the fourth world. So, I'm- I'm not looking forward to that. That's going to be next stream, probably, and, uh... I, there's likely going to be lots of screaming. This race looks like it's gonna work out, though. Hopefully Banjo gets third or something. Not like I can do much about that from here. Except maybe this. tells me that's not going to be enough, though. Nailed it! Right in the candy cane. Hey! Banjo didn't get first, but... Uh, Banjo didn't get second, but he still got first overall, because I wasn't counting the points right, so... Second place it is. According to some people, I have a weird type of ADHD where I fidget with everything and can't focus for more than three seconds. I don't know why it's weird. I thought that was how everyone with ADHD acted. That sounds pretty normal, yeah. That, that just sounds like normal ADHD. Uh, we need to do that again so we can get gold. So I guess we're still doing more of the stream. I hope you, I hope you wanted an encore. One more shot. Should be able to get it this time, right? Hopefully with a little more consistent driving. I mean flying. I mean what? Oh, you can do that to stall for items. Neat. Kinda just did that by accident. Once again, I do not have a whole lot of bananas, and that appears to be my biggest problem. So many of them are along the ground, because this is, like, feels like it's supposed to be a uh, car course more than a plane course. Knock it too far off course, but it did make it harder for me to get first. Anyone who tries to get ahead of me is gonna get the wrath of my missile, but wasn't needed. Finish the Undertale talking flower. Hell yeah! We're almost finished with the stream. Hopefully with a little better driving, I won't need to do a third set of this. How did I miss that zip? My god. Has anyone noticed that driving is hard? They did not teach me much about off-roading and driving school, just saying. Not that they taught me much to begin with.
Like, driving school didn't even teach me about red shells. You'd think that would be necessary? Considering how many of them are on the goddamn road? But no, it's... God. Education in this country is just so fucked. Okay, that's enough of this bit. For some reason, you lose your shield going into the loop. And I... I'm still guessing that's because, uh, they don't want you running into somebody and knocking them off the top of the loop, because that would be really, really mean. I wonder what happens if you, like, save a green balloon for there. Can you- are there even green balloons on this course? Yep, there's one. Taking the normal route just to be safe and getting first place. Let's rock. I imagine the uh, trophy races have harder AI than the regular races do, but that's like... I don't typically have a hard time with harder AI in kart racing games. It's... You can see me just still fucking flying off of the course, just trying to stay on the course. And that seems to be my hardest problem here is the courses themselves, not, not having to race the AI. I wonder if they nerfed it a bit for DS. I also remembered in DS that uh, third tier power-ups were almost a little more rare than this, but uh, I seem to be getting them rather frequently here, actually. And it's working wonders. But I still got fourth. Christ. Walrus Cove would make a decent Mario Kart 8 course with that loop, right? I'm still in first, actually. Holy shit. But to lock it in, I really need to get first on this course. Here I am going off to the left because I think there's silver coins over there. Thank god you, the trophy race doesn't involve you getting the silver coins on each one also. That would be hell. What is the cat doing? She's getting under the, the blankets on my bed, and I, I just thought she was, like, attacking something under there. But no, she's just trying to sneak her way in. Did that hit him immediately? I would love if it did. But I can't tell if that noise was him losing first place or not. He definitely made a noise of some kind, though. It sounded very, uh, Crash Bandicoot. Whoa! 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 God damn it. That's okay. Still quite a bit in the lead. It appears I'm just not very good at Snowball Valley. The rest of these courses I can handle rather okay. Relatively. God! That frame was really blurry for some reason. Alright, first place! Clicked eight red coins, eight green coins, five star shards, six golden coins, and the silver stars, and cats, I guess, and moon shards. 
on every course, and you have to get first place. Don't forget the Chaos Emeralds. I'm remembering that Sonic R has this thing where uh, you get the Chaos Emeralds, and at the end it says, You got Chaos Emeralds! And it shows which ones you got. But if you didn't get first place, it doesn't count you get the, getting the Chaos Emeralds, but it shows the screen anyway. And so... It shows, you got Chaos Emeralds! And then the Chaos Emeralds fall down, and it, right behind them it says, You got no Chaos Emeralds! <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Alright, that's Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, thank you all so much for joining and watching, as I failed repeatedly. Uh, we'll do this again sometime, huh? Probably next week this time? Sound good? Sound good. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, uh, Friday or Saturday is going to be Splatfest with Lexi, so uh, look forward to that, too. Bye!